Hi there, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to talk about row echelon form. Also, we call it REF. So what is row echelon form? Now, there are actually three points that we have to look at. The first point is the leading number. Leading number, preferably leading one, left side of this leading number must be all zero. So what are the leading numbers? If we look at the example here, the leading number here will be one, one, and one. Okay. Now, on the left side of this leading number, they must be all zero. So we see that these are all zero here. Okay. Now, after, the second point is row of zero at the bottom of the matrix. What does it mean? If we look at the last example here, we see that two row of zero that are at the bottom of the matrix. So if you have a row of zero, put it at the bottom of your matrix, please. Now the last point, if any two successive row that do not consist entirely of zero, the leading one in the lower row occur further to the right than the leading one in the right higher row. Now, what does it mean is, let's look at this example. Leading one is right here. The second row leading one must be on the further right of the first row, which is further right, in this case, of the first row. Now, same thing with the third row is further right, okay? Now, third example here, we see that even though it doesn't have to be going all the way down as a diagonal, okay, the leading one is just on the left side, it just have to be all zero, okay? And then the leading one is a further right from the previous row, okay? So these are what we call row echelon form, okay? We also call it REF. For more information about REF, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.